go. I'm Radio Disney's Jake. Look who it is. Jason Earls, dude, how are you? I'm doing awesome, how are you doing? I'm doing incredibly well because this is actually my first time on the set of season four of Hannah Montana. Yeah, this is a big deal. This is, you're like in the inner circle now. You've, you've seen the magic that is the season four sets. The new house and the new pier, they're amazing. Literally, I am in the inner circle because we're actually roped off by a circle of rope. It's true. <laughs> you gotta tell me about this episode that you're filming. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I mean, today has been pretty awesome. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, this is a really special episode we're doing it's sort of an episode that that uh, s sort of shows the importance of family I think everybody probably takes members of their family for granted sometimes your mom or your dad or your brothers or sisters and uh, in this episode Miley sort of learns about the importance of not doing that her boyfriend his father is stationed in Afghanistan and so he doesn't get a chance to visit with his dad very often and it sort of hits home with Miley how how important it is to spend time with the people that you care about and uh, so as part of the episode we're doing this great thing today where we brought in real military families and their kids and we're doing this sort of like little concert and singing a couple of songs and interacting with the kids and it's fun because it, it sort of crosses over not only just shooting the show but in real life you know we're yeah. really excited to get a chance to meet all these families and talk to them and uh, it's, it's, just, it's a very special episode and I think it, it hits home for a lot of people. How special is this episode yeah. for you personally? Uh, this episode is actually great for me because it's, it's my chance to give a little shout out for my older brother, uh, Kevin, who's in the Navy. Uh, he's stationed in Japan right now, and I'll go years without seeing him because they send him all over the world, and and uh, I think it's very cool that we're doing a little something as a tribute to say, you know, thank you to all of the all of the people that work so hard for us. What would you say to uh, a kid or a family member of somebody that has somebody serving their country? Uh, I think the best thing you can do for your mom or your dad or whoever it is that's away is just let them know that you're strong and that your family is strong and you guys are doing well and that you can't wait to see them when they get home and as long as they know that then you know I think they're gonna be happy and and it'll be a great reunion when you see each other again so just sort of keep each other in your thoughts and your prayers now do you, do you write your brother letters do you how do you keep in contact email yeah uh, online yeah okay. uh, that's actually great because it's a way that you can sort of immediately like you don't have to wait for a mail, you know, letters to get there weeks weeks at a time. So if I need to know something from him, even though he's in Japan, I can find out, you know, today if I need to know something from him. So well, tell great. your brother thank you. I will.